If you are in Newfoundland and recently purchased a duffel bag from Winners, you may be able to make a man's Christmas miracle come true. Now this is the duffel bag in question and Leonard Maura is a St. John student from Zimbabwe. He bought it as he was getting ready to return home for the holidays. He placed his passport inside before deciding that he no longer needed the bag and then he returned the bag to the store forgetting that the passport was still inside. When he went back to Winners, the bag was no longer there. So we've got Leonard on the line now, joining us from St. John's. Leonard, where do you think your passport is right now? Uh, I just, I, I still feel like the, um, the passport is still in the bag because I've searched, I've been searching since Saturday the last week and I still haven't found anything yet. Now, this is kind of an odd story, but there's also a very significant reason why you need your passport back. Tell everyone at home why you need to get back home. Oh, I needed to go for the funeral, that's that thing, and uh, my other brother was also getting married, and I also needed to spend time with Christmas with my, with my family as well. That's so, another thing. So you've got a funeral to attend, sadly, you've got a wedding to attend, and of course you'd like to spend Christmas with your family. Yeah. So if you don't get that passport in the next couple of days, what happens? If I don't get it in the next, now it's me against the time now because um, school is opening soon, right? So that means if I don't get it maybe before Christmas now, um, maybe the, 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 another option would be now I have to go to Ottawa and apply for another one. Have you? Which I don't know how long it's going to take like to get a new one. Right. Well, maybe they could speed up the process for you considering what's going on. But in the meantime, have you had any calls, any tips, anybody coming forward? No, nothing yet. Nothing yet. I'm just still waiting. Uh, I'm waiting maybe till, till after Christmas to see if uh, maybe someone is going to get that bag as a gift. Maybe that's when they'll realize there's a passport in there. Yeah, and you know, maybe they're watching the story right now. <laughs> I hope yeah. they'll remember it come Christmas Day. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Leonard, when you realized the passport was gone, what went through your mind? I, you know, like, at that point, I thought I was actually dreaming, to be honest. Because um, at first, I was like, you know, I searched, like, the whole house. Then I couldn't find it. Then I had to go, like, to Winners. And I'm thinking, maybe the biggest two, they are Winners. Then when I came back, that's when I actually realized, like, I don't have this passport. I'm sure this passport is in that bag. And now I started panicking. And I don't know, because I was only left with about, what, about four hours to board my flight. So I didn't know what to do now. And when's the flight? Uh, the flight was last week, Sunday. So I missed that one. I had to, to cancel like the ticket. Did you get the money back? Yeah, but, uh, with WestJet, like, uh, I canceled one, the 1,200 ticket, and they only gave me about 300. Oh, man. It's just one hit after the next. OK. And when you told your family about losing the passport, what did they say? They were heartbroken because they really wanted me to come. They were looking forward to this, like spending Christmas with me. But, uh, you know, the hardest part for them, I guess, was just accepting that I'm not coming back home. Or maybe I'll only come back when I get this passport. But you've got some celebrity on side helping you. Rick Mercer has tweeted out your story. Did that get more attention? Yeah, yeah, because I was, I was looking at the report, like, yeah, it, it got more attention. I saw, like, a lot of people sharing, and I really appreciate uh, everyone who shared and everyone who's been trying to help. Okay, bud, and if you don't get that passport in time, who are you going to spend Christmas with? Um, I, I don't know yet, because I've had, like, uh, a few families, like, inviting me for Christmas. Oh, good. So I'm, I'm, still, I'm still to decide where I'm going to spend Christmas, but this year it's going to be different. 